Hey everyone, my name is Gabe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. When creating drawings in SolidWorks, uh, it might be desirable to display assembly components or maybe just specific edges of a model uh, using different line styles, thicknesses, or colors. Maybe you want to emphasize some part of the design or make the, the drawing easier to read. For whatever reason, here's uh, one way to do it. Let's say we want to change the uh, display style of the lines for this component here of the piston head. Uh, so when I right click on the piston, we get this option to um, change the component line font. This will bring up the dialog box here and right now it's set to use document defaults. So what those document defaults are looking at is from the document properties in the template and it's using this information here. So what we want to do is uncheck that box and when we uncheck that we have control uh, to set this to whatever we'd like. We can change the visible edges to be phantom lines, a dash line like this here, we can increase the line weight. Uh, and you can apply this to all views in your drawing or from the uh, selection right here, so just this specific view right here as well. Right? If you have a layer created, you can go ahead and throw it on that layer. Let's go ahead and make this red. And then we can click OK. So you can see I made that change there very quickly. Uh, if you wanted to do this um, for a couple more, sure, let's go ahead and do this one for the entire document. We'll go all views and let's just make this thicker and we'll click OK. Right, And there you go. Uh, I did mention making changes to a specific edge, so, so if I wanted to do it to this one here, you can simply select on the line and access any of these options here, line color, thickness, or line style as well. Uh, if you're going to be making a lot of changes, it might be worthwhile to activate some toolbars here. So you can go ahead and activate the layer or line format toolbar, and you'll have access to these tools as well. So in this video, we showed how to change a component line font for specific components in your drawing sheet, either for a specific view or the entire drawing. Thanks for watching.